Hello Salesforce Ohana, Walters954 here and in this video I'm going to show you how to retrieve metadata from your Salesforce instance, so in the cloud, and bring it down locally into your Visual Studio code. This could be pulling your flows or pulling your Apex classes, your triggers, and we're going to be using a project with manifest, so kind of figuring out how to use those package.xml files. To do this, we're going to be using a few things. So I'm already expecting that you have the Salesforce CLI set up and Visual Studio Code. If not, definitely check out some of the other videos I have going over the setup process for that. Now I'm going to jump into my VS Code and do a command to create a project with manifest. And of course, that's Control Shift P and and then there are two project options if you have your SFDX and the extensions all installed. So for me, let's do one with manifest first. I'm gonna pick standard just because we want to use the default method for creating the project. Give this a name, Salesforce Mentor with manifest. Let's press enter. And then it's gonna ask you to pick a location for the files that you want to work with. Let's drop over in, into Salesforce and this looks pretty good. Now a few things are popping up here on the right and I'm just gonna exit those out and it's basically because I do not have a default org selected already. If you're seeing a Java error here as well, definitely check out the Salesforce 101 course that I have which goes over how to get rid of that Java error and make sure your VS Code is set up for Salesforce development. Now what we need to do is make sure that our org is authorized, so go ahead and click on this little section down here and may say no org selected or needs to authorize an org. Go ahead and select that and then go through the authorization process. You'll need to log into your Salesforce org. For me, I'm going to pick an org that I have already previously authorized to. So this will be the org that I'm able to pull all of the metadata from. So the first thing I want to show you all is how to use the manifest. If you have a project with manifest, you will have this package.xml file created. If we jump into this package.xml, we'll see a bunch of very cool things, and some of you may be familiar with some of these things in here. It's basically outlining the metadata that the package.xml is looking at. So any of the files that are in here, these are the ones, once we retrieve our information, what it will be looking for. The star means that it's going to retrieve all of the metadata that is related to that specific type. And these are just the default values that get put into our package.xml when we generate our project with manifest the first time. Some of you may have noticed, right, these are not all of the metadata types that exist, right? We're missing apps and tabs and custom objects and all of that stuff, but we'll get there. So to retrieve our information, what we want to do is right click on the package XML and press retrieve a source with manifest. In the output panel, we can see that that process has run successfully. And if we jump over into our force app main default folder, we can see once we expand a few more of these that we have values inside of here. So I can click on these and open them up and they're exactly the same information that exists inside of my org. This is great if we wanted to pull in some of the default values that the package XML generated, but what if we wanted to pull in some other values, maybe the objects here, which we can see is empty. Let's go ahead and just create a new section inside of this XML and I'm going to pull in custom objects. Ideally these should be in the correct order and all of that stuff but just for this demonstration purposes you can see how this is working. So once again I'm going to right click retrieve source in manifest from org right click that and now it should start to pull in all of the custom objects that we have the auto number one and the trigger setting metadata type so this is working out great when we want to pull all of the values but what if we just wanted to pull one individual value we could just as easily type in the name of whatever the metadata is that we're looking for and let's say that i had deleted these two move those out 
and then save and run this again, clicking and retrieving from the package.xml. And we can see that only the auto number folder is appearing in here. So this is great if you just wanna pull one of these specific metadata elements. If you don't know all of the API names, then it gets a little bit hard because you'll have to go and dig through it inside of the org. But ideally, you'll have to do this once, get your package XML set up, and then you won't have to do it again. One other super cool trick that if you want to pull all of the data from inside of your org, you can use this command to generate a manifest for you, a package XML that you can retrieve all of the metadata inside of your org. Go ahead and type out or copy and paste this command in. It's also linked in this video. And the from org section is going to be the exact name of your trailhead org, the org that you are connected with. I've also added in an additional parameter in here, the dash dash name, and I set it to all metadata. So what's gonna happen here is it's gonna create a new manifest file, call it all metadata, and pull all of the individual metadata pieces into this new file that gets generated. This can be super useful if you have some automated processes and workflows that you want to have all of the metadata pulled out and individualized. So you can see it here, all the different types of our metadata inside of our org have been pulled into this brand new manifest file. And I could right click and retrieve all of these values and it would actually pull everything in, which I'm not gonna do right now because that's gonna be a lot of information just to pull down from my org. So that's all about using the manifest files and retrieving information from your Salesforce org. Super useful to just pull everything down. But nowadays I don't really create manifest files. I'm just pulling information from the org browsers. So if you're curious about how to do that and not using a manifest file to retrieve information from your Salesforce org, check out this video that I have going over that process and some more of the different Salesforce CLI commands that you can use to pull down information. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm Walters954, and remember, I believe in you.